the greatest challenges to healthcare is the growing prevalence of chronic conditions. Commonly, people now live with multiple chronic conditions even before they reach retirement age. These conditions require that patients and their families access and use healthcare and use self-management strategies at home. When the work to manage their conditions exceeds the capacity to take them on, people experience treatment burden. So my name is Casey Bamer, and I am a health services researcher with the Knowledge and Evaluation Research Unit and the Division of Healthcare Delivery Research at Mayo Clinic. Today, we are discussing the article, Minimally Disruptive Medicine, Progress 10 Years Later, that will appear in the February 2022 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. In 2009, a clinical strategy called minimally disruptive medicine was proposed to address treatment burden. The article upcoming in the proceedings describes the decade of research on minimally disruptive medicine or MDM that followed and the research and clinical actions still required in the upcoming decade. Specifically, we have advanced our conceptual and theoretical understandings of what contributes to poor patient outcomes in the face of multiple chronic conditions, our ability to measure treatment burden through patient reported measures, and the development of small interventions that may support MDM in practice. Work still remains to measure patient capacity and implement and test large scale interventions that support MDM clinically. In regards to clinical practice, a clinician reviewing this work will find potentially novel ways to understand patients who are deemed non-adherent to treatment or have worsening health outcomes. They will also find measures and tools that can help them understand and address treatment burden today. Finally, clinicians involved in research may spearhead work that advances MDM in the coming decade. For patients, Minimally disruptive care that is maximally supportive is our aim. The approaches described in our paper should spark more patient-centered, compassionate care. Patients may be drawn to action through serving in advisory roles in institutions that seek to adopt MDM as a clinical strategy. For our next steps in this line of research, we need to advance ways to measure patient capacity and act clinically when patients are in trouble due to low capacity, either because of their unique life situations or because of their symptoms. Additionally, we need robust implementation of MDM at a larger scale that is paired with long-term evaluation of patient outcomes over time. We invite you to read the article and engage with us on Twitter to get involved in this exciting line of research. Thank you for your time. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.